So this site should look familiar. This is the one we've been working on and I've just added a few more pages just to demonstrate a, a couple of things for you and we're really going to talk about the whole page properties SEO aspects. So if I click on the master page I can come down under the file menu and get site properties and you'll notice that one of my options is the fave icon here um, and what is that fave icon? Well let me show you. I'm going to go out and I'm going to preview this page, actually preview the site in browser. So it's going to go out and it's going to go through the process and generate the site in my browser. And that is the fave icon that I'm looking for. Now, because this site has already been tested, it was there. But this is what you'll see without one. So that's really what you should see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, go up to the site properties window. And then where the fave icon is, I'm going to click on the choose a new image. I'm going to navigate to my folder where all my assets are kept. And you can see I've got a stage factory logo at 32 pixels. And you can see that it's 32 pixels by 32 pixels. And it's saved as a ping file. And it must be saved as a ping file, PNG. And I'm going to click OK. And now that file has been saved as um, a... Uh, fave icon for me. So now if I refresh my browser and wait a second with any luck, um, sometimes you have to re, re, re um, post it. It looks like I'm going to have to. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to file. Go back to my site. I'm going to go file preview site in browser. And there we go. And what's going to happen is after a few seconds that icon is going to show up and that's the little icon you want and you can see why I keep telling you make sure it's no bigger than 32 by 32 because that's actually 16 by 16 and at a retina display it'll be twice the size what you want to be concerned about is how does that look does it match the rest of the design so make sure whatever you're doing is you minimize your fave icon from your real icon but make sure it supports your design and make sure it works with you all right so the other thing I want to talk about has to do with the pages themselves, and that was to do site-wide. But the reality is, is you really don't want to be doing things completely site-wide. You want to do things based on the pages. And the first one is right here. So I'm going to click on this page and double-click it to open it. And you can see I got nothing really on it. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to go to Page Properties. So when I come to Page Properties, what I want to do is I want to have a description. Now this description is um, something that I'm going to write in English. It should be something that's, that makes sense. It should be a sentence. So I'm going to write something like um, about the EPS foam st um, set building company and you would write whatever and the thing that you want to make sure is that you want to be less than 170 characters as a general rule of thumb because what's going to happen is it's going to be truncated at around 150 characters so you want to be keeping that down to something um, smaller and under that 170 characters and think about uh, somewhere between 150 and 155 is where Google's going to truncate it so make sure you're thinking about how that's going to work the next one that you want to do is the keywords. Now keywords are not supported by all browsers, but they are supported by some. So it's always a good idea. I always believe in erring on the side of caution, if you will. So I would rather add them and not need them to need them and not uh, and then not have them. So um, I'm going to type in keywords, set build, custom foam, set pieces and each one is separated by a comma and you can see that you don't need to worry about whether they make sense in English or whatnot because it's going to actually uh, be something that um, the uh, browsers only the browsers only I'm sorry only the spiders only the search engines are going to use so and then in here is where I would put any additional code if I wanted to add anything specific and we'll talk more about that later 
Uh, I also can come in under my options and in my options I can actually change the title of my page so let me let me undo that and I'm gonna cancel this oh I didn't want to cancel it but that's okay I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna go to preview page and browser and you can see that there is that about well what I want to do is I want to come into the page properties and I want to go to that options and yeah, lost my metadata and um, I want to change this and this is where I'm going to put something in that makes sense um, to help me find uh, in the browser this is the thing that's described in the, the, the SERP or the search engine um, re, uh, re results page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name and I want to be thinking about things that the way the searcher would be searching not the way I would be thinking so um, in this case because it's at about I might write something like um, learn more about EPS foam for the stage and then I might then put a pipe I like the pipe and then I'll type the stage factory uh, just in case people are looking for it, but as a general rule of thumb, people are not going to be looking for the stage factory. Um, the other thing that I can do is I could actually change the file name here. I could leave it at the same name, or I could do something like um, stage factory, stage factory hyphen about, and hopefully help. Um, that's supposed to be stage hopefully help me find a higher ranking in Google and and that's what the page will be called uh, for the HTML I do want to include the page in the XML sitemap and um, what's the great thing about Muse is, is that it automatically generates that for you and that's a great uh, feature and then of course I do want to include it inside my menus and I'm gonna click OK now if I come up to my page and I preview the page in browser here is what that it gets written right across the top for me so it gets written right across the top for me and then that's the first thing that shows up when I do a search and so what I want to do as somebody who's working on a site is I want to go into each one of these pages and I want to click on that page go up the page properties and I want to come in you'll notice that in layout because I did it site-wide my icon shows up so that's great uh, I want to come in and I want to put in metadata for each and every page. I want to write a description and think about what that should be. I want to write some keywords and think about what that should be. And then I also want to come in and mess with any of this stuff, particularly the page names for each and every page in my site. Um, and, and, and you want to make sure that you do that, as I said, for every page. This will give you a higher ranking in Google and help you get uh, noticed more on the web. Thanks for watching.